Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number seven. This one's infused e-glass with a Corsell core. And here's the laminate schedule. It's 12 millimeter core with some tight woven on the faces and 12 ounce biaxial in against the core. I'm gonna lay it up really fast. This is some 300 gram 7781 style tight woven fiberglass. It's going down. I'm just putting it down on the Teflon and grabbing my 12 ounce biaxial using as little spray glue as possible. I get this piece of core scrap. It's M80 Corsell. Just stacking this up as quick as I can. Making sure it's pretty smooth. I'm going to throw the peel ply on there and hack it off with these really dull scissors. A little bit of spray glue here and there. I tried to I've let the glass lay over the edge of the foam and that may be a little problematic because it creates a bridge uh, where resin can run by but I've got a big wide vacuum brake so it shouldn't be a, too big a deal and uh, I've got some just a little bit of flow mesh is my vacuum manifold with a hose with a little bit of flow mesh stuck taped onto the end and putting my flow mesh over the whole thing got it pointing in the right direction overlapping the feed line Got to tape it down just a little bit looks like I put it kind of sloppy there we'll see how it straightens out got my sealant tape on the bag gonna put down each corner as I usually do and then work from the middle out leaving a pleat at the edge of the panel so the whole bag is symmetrically placed and I've got some room for pleats I was just using a rag to wipe some spray glue off of the table because if you get spray glue underneath the tacky tape sometimes it can leak and it leaves its smeary nasty surface and I'll get all the sides done and then come back and make the pleats where the resin and vacuum hoses come through I like to use a little um, spring clamps to hold the hose in place just because sometimes the hose because it's stiff gets all um, floppy and pulls the the mesh around on top so I've got my little vacuum um, resin inlet clamp thing those are really nice and handy because you can throttle it easily vice grips work pretty well too uh, I've got the you want the vice grips with the sort of the carpet puller end on them and looks like I've got my mesh a little bit off center there so it's close to one edge and away from it on the other we'll see how that goes working around the bag trying to get it down I don't have a gauge on my vacuum side yet it's something I need to do um, so I'm kind of flying blind here in terms of the bag it's definitely problematic and you don't want to do that but uh, pretty comfortable showing problematic stuff that's part of the point of these so here it is you can see the green mesh is not well placed it's off to one side and the end right here there is I tried to push it in as best as possible but there may well be some issues there um, I'm taking the putting a thermocouple on the surface so I'll be able to read temperature during the infusion and I'm shooting this quite warm the table has got a heating blanket underneath and I've heated the surface up it's probably around 100 degrees Fahrenheit and the resin is relatively warm this is a little 3d printed hose clamp I made just been testing this out I usually use a spring clamp and every now and then it comes out and that's embarrassing so I've cut a little a little wedge off the end of the tube so that it doesn't get um, doesn't press up against the bottom of the bucket and keep it from flowing but that little white bit is a yeah it's a little clamp let's see if I can make some improvements on it but the resin is flowing super fast this is sped up a little but this is still really fast and as it goes you can see it start to run up the sides there it's doing a little race tracking 
that's not ideal and I'm monitoring the temperature this is really hot probably too hot I still have to get a handle on my heat blanket and how to control that temperature but we'll see it's a good data point there's nothing wrong with shooting infusions warm it helps with the viscosity and um, it's a nice makes the everything easier in a lot of ways you do have some issues with moisture to worry about vapor pressure because of the elevated temperature high vacuum but that's a story for another day got a few little areas down the far end that didn't fill I think they'll fill eventually but we'll come back and check that out when it's cured and there'll definitely be some air in there because there's nowhere for that air to go except very slowly work its way out to the vacuum brake yeah they've definitely filled but it's probably not ideal and um, this is pretty warm now up around 140 Fahrenheit which is uh, warm to the touch you can see that little bubble formed that's air that had been in that dry spot that worked its way out so yeah really hot too hot on the inlet side I think I had some exotherm from resin made kind of a, a boily bubbly spot there this is fast infusion resin so uh, I was definitely pushing my luck with that here I, it's been overnight I just let it sit and I'm demolding it because it had been warm up that table bit is is very well cured even it was a little crunchy still in the pail and use my stir stick pop this thing off the Teflon have a look at what we got it looks pretty good there's definitely a little bit of air sort of a haziness around the perf holes in the foam air that was heading toward the right direction and never made it and that's a, a matter of the pressure being slightly different um, and the air wanting to to get out but not being able to so that's why you can see that they look like little halos it's not bad it's not a critical problem there's the back side of that area on the far end that didn't fill immediately that air right, right across there uh, the air was trapped and uh, there was nowhere for it to go and up here in this corner there's a little bit of uh, sort of fuzz there I think that's from the exotherm from uh, the heat generated because of the really hot table and the fast resin and all the resin inside that feed tube going off at once that seemed to be pretty localized I did not use perforated release film on this and so the peel ply is a little hard to pull off but the panel looks nice everything is pretty well compacted there's more air in it than I would like and I think that's a matter of I shot it pretty immediately after pulling the back down and it was hot it didn't degas the resin I shot the resin too fast should have throttled it more kind of did all the wrong things but it's a data point and here it is well thanks for checking it out and uh, we'll see you on the next one